All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to flash an ATI Radon HD 5770 graphics card to work on an Apple Mac Pro. Now this method will allow it to work on any Mac Pro, that be the 2006 to 2010 models. Um, it probably will work on the 2011 and 2012 models as well, but uh, if you get one that new, you probably want a better graphics card than this in the first place. So, um, so to, uh, to get started, you're going to need a few things. Um, first off, you're going to need a PC with a PCI Express slot. Um, as you can see, this motherboard has three of them right there. Um, of course, all, all you really need is one. Um, you also need a PC running Windows as well as a computer running Mac OS X. Now, um, the target PC that you're going to be using for flashing doesn't actually have to have an, a hard drive or OS installed as this whole process will be done uh, by booting off a flash drive, which I will show you how to make in just a minute. So. Uh, the first thing to do is to prepare that flash drive for booting and for flashing. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to my PC and uh, show you what to do from there. Alright, so once you're on your PC running Windows, you're going to need to download a couple files. You're going to need to download an uh, application called Rufus and another program called ATI Flash. So the first thing you're going to need to do is insert your USB drive into your computer. And keep in mind your USB drive... Uh, doesn't, it doesn't really matter what size it is, it can be uh, any size and it will work just fine. Let's go ahead and insert it there. Um, go ahead and close this and open up Rufus. So in Rufus, you want to leave all the uh, settings as default. And uh, you want to go down here and or first off you want to make sure your flash drive is selected. And then down here you're going to want to make sure Create bootable disk using FreeDOS is selected. So once you verify those settings are correct, go ahead and select Start, select OK, and just wait for it to complete. And once it's done, uh, you can go ahead and open the flash drive. And what you're going to want to do at this point is go ahead and open the ATI flash folder, and you're going to want to copy in these two files to the root of the flash drive. So once those files are in there, your flash drive is prepared and ready to uh, begin. So at this point, you can just go ahead and remove your flash drive um, and plug it into your target machine. So I'm going to go ahead and get my target machine set up, uh, get the graphics card installed, and prepare to proceed with the first step of the flashing process. So I'll resume the video in just a second. All right, so you can see here that I've gotten the machine all set up and ready to go for flashing. Now you don't actually need a second graphics card to do this flashing, it'll work just fine uh, using the uh, graphics card that you're flashing. So um, you can go ahead and plug your monitor into that, um, ensure your USB drive is connected, and you can go ahead and power on the system. Now this machine is set to automatically boot from the flash drive, um, so that is exactly what it's going to do. Alright, so as you can see, FreeDOS is now loaded. So at this point, what you're going to want to type in is ATI flash dash I. And when you see this, you just want to keep note of your adapter number. Now, if you only have one card installed, which you pretty much should if you're doing flashing at all, uh, it will be adapter zero. So um, just keep that in mind in case you need that. Um, so the next thing you want to type in is ATI flash dash uh, S and zero or the index of your adapter. So I'll go ahead and run that, or actually, uh, you want to type ATI flash dash S zero, and then you want to type a name for the desired saved ROM. And what this is going to do is just take the ROM off the card and uh, save it to a file on the flash drive. So I'm going to name it 5770PC.ROM, 
And uh, once you have that command typed in, you can go ahead and press enter. All right, and if the ROM saves successfully, you should see uh, that uh, 0x2 20,000 bytes were saved. Now, if that byte amount is lower than 20,000, that means that you have a 64K EEPROM on your card. If that's the case, then it will be necessary that you um, that you uh, replace the EEPROM with a 128K EEPROM, or the ROM won't be able to fit on the card. So, um, once you've saved your ROM, uh, you can go ahead and power off the machine and go to your machine running Mac OS X and I'll show you what to do from there. Alright, so on your machine running OS X you're going to need a couple things downloaded. Um, the first thing you're going to need is uh, these two files right here. Um, I will put these in a zip file and put them in a link in the description of this video. Uh, but this includes uh, this file called 5770mod2 .efi.rom and a Python script called fixrom.py. So those are the two files you are going to need to proceed. So the first thing you're going to need to do is uh, connect your USB drive as I've already done and locate the ROM that you just saved from earlier. So in my case it's right here and what you're going to want to do is just copy it into the folder along with these two other files. And then what you're going to want to do is rename it to myrom.rom, just to fit the syntax of the terminal commands you are going to need to type in. So at this point, I'll go ahead and open up terminal, uh, cd to the directory where these files are stored, and run these commands. Now I will put a link to the commands as well in the video description, however you can just uh, copy all of these lines and uh, just go and paste them in and it will automatically execute them uh, line by line because uh, there is a return after each. So I'll go ahead and paste that in and at the last line you're going to want to just type enter or just press enter. And if it was successful you should see this message here and now what you're going to want to do is um, run the fix rom command. So just type dot slash fixrom.py and press enter. Oh, actually I forgot the syntax. Uh, what you're going to want to do is type uh, dot slash fixrom.py space myrom.rom and then space again and then you can name it 5770mac.rom Go ahead and press enter. And when that's complete you should have a new file here called 5770mac.rom or whatever you specified it as right here and you can just go ahead and copy this on the flash drive so once that's copied you can go ahead and eject your flash drive and at this point we are now ready to proceed with the flashing so I'm gonna go ahead and resume back on my flashing computer and show you what to do from there alright so once you've gotten the flash drive connected to your flashing computer once again and the GPU installed, you can go ahead and power it on. Alright, and at this point, all we have to do is run one more command and we should be finished. So just type ATI flash dash P zero or the index or whatever your card is. Um five seven seven zero Mac dot ROM space dash F. And once you've gotten that typed in, just go ahead and press enter. And 
as you can see, the update was successful. So at this point, we should be able to connect this card or install this card into the Mac Pro and get a white EFI boot screen and Apple logo. So I'm going to go ahead and install it in the Mac Pro and uh, show you that it works. All right, as you can see, the Radon HD 5770 is now installed in the Mac Pro. So let's go ahead and power up the machine and see if it works. All right, we got a chime. So hopefully we will get a video signal. And we do. And as you can see, the machine has booted. Let's go ahead and log in here and see if it worked. And as you can see, the graphics is now an ATI Radon HD5770. Um, let's go ahead and do graphics and displays. And yeah, there it is. It's fully working. So that is how to flash an ATI Radon HD5770 graphics card for an Apple Mac Pro. Hope you enjoyed this video.